Hello everyone and welcome back to our course. In this lecture we are starting a new project learning how to build a tabular classification model with CreateML and how to use the model with CoreML in an Xcode application. Our first step is going to be to get data for the training of the model. You can find a lot of data sets online that are copyright free, available for all sorts of use from commercial to educational to personal. For example, on a website like Kaggle.com, this is a great resource for finding different data sets. So you can go to Kaggle.com and I'm using the zoo animal classification data set from UCI ML. All right, so this data set is using machine learning methods to classify animals based on attributes. So this is the data that you would use to train a machine learning model. The data set has 101 animals from a zoo. There are 16 variables with various traits to describe the animals. And there are seven class types, mammal, bird, reptile, fish, amphibian, bug, and invertebrate. The purpose of the data set is for use in classification. So that means you use attributes to classify a sample into a group. In this case, we have seven groups called classes. Here in zoo.csv, we have attribute information. You can read this information on Kaggle. You can also see zoo.csv. I'll include it for you in the source files, which you can find at the end of this section. So you don't have to go to Kaggle. You can just get zoo.csv from the source files of this course. For Kaggle, it is completely free. You just have to create a free account. So here are the attributes in this CSV file. We have an animal name unique for each sample. We have then a series of true and false values. So here we are saying booleans, so zero for false and one for true. So if the animal has hair, then it will have a one for the hair attribute. An attribute is just a column in the data set. We have hair, feathers, eggs, milk, airborne, aquatic, predator, toothed, backbone, breathes, venomous, fins. We have legs, which is numeric actually, not a boolean. This is the number of legs of the animal. Then we have tail, domestic, cat size. Is it roughly the size of a cat? And we have the class type from one to seven. Okay, so you'll get an integer value from one to seven, defining the class type. And the seven classes are mammal, bird, reptile, fish, amphibian, bug, and invertebrate. All right, so this is the data. So you can just click download and get the five kilobytes of data there or get it from the source files. And this is an open licensed data set. Once you have the download, extract the zip file. It's just a zip file that you have to open. Then join me in Xcode. So I'm going to pop open Xcode and from there we can open Create ML. Create ML comes with your installation of Xcode. It's a separate app, but it comes with your installation. And you can open it via Xcode. And with Create ML, we can actually build and train our own machine learning models using data. So here I have opened up Xcode. Okay, then I'm going to go into the header of Xcode and I'm going to select open developer tool. Here I have a choice of tools and I want to focus on create ML. So here, this is how I can open the create ML application. It's part of Xcode, but it is its own app that opens, All right? So here we are going to be prompted with our full finder here to create a new document. And then we are going to now here in the create ML app, we can choose a template for our model. So we can perform different tasks like image classification, object detection, style transfer, hand pose classification, action classification, hand action classification, activity classification, sound classification, and more. There are all of them. Then there's new, image, video, motion, sound, text, and table, and more are added over time. We're going to choose tabular classification, which is part of the table category. This model predicts 
the categorical value of a feature given other feature values. So this means that we take some features or columns of a sample and we put it into a category. Is it a mammal? Is it a bird? Is it a bug? Based on its different attributes. Features are represented as columns in the tabular data. This is called tabular classification because you use a table or a CSV file, which just has data in a tabular format. Press next and then you can choose a project name. I'm going to call this my animal classifier. You can then enter an author and you can put in a license and a description optionally. Then press next and now you'll be prompted to save the create ML project. You can hit create. And here we are in create ML. And now we are prompted here to fill in the necessary data for our machine learning model. So here I'm in my animal classifier one under model sources, and I can put in my training data. So here I can just choose my CSV file for my training data. When I downloaded from Kaggle my zoo data, it was called archive and I just renamed the folder zoo data. And this is all provided for you in the source files at the end of this section. We have class.csv which just explains what each of the numbers mean, a mammal, a bug, an amphibian, a bird. Then we have zoo which actually contains all of the animals in the zoo. So that's what we're going to choose is zoo.csv. We can press open. You'll get this message here, no target selected. This tells us we have to select the target or the actual value that we're trying to predict. So under target right here, you have to choose a target column. So our data has a whole bunch of columns like animal name, hair, milk, fins, legs. Then we also have class type at the very end. So class type is our target because that is what we're trying to predict. We're trying to predict what is the class of each animal. And we already have this in our data because this is our training data. This is the data that we use for training. So it has a whole bunch of samples of different animals that have different features and then a different class type. And next we have this warning, no features selected. So we have to select features right below the target. You can just select all the features at once with the top most check mark. Okay, with that checkbox and make sure that the target value is not included because we don't need the target value for our actual training of the input features. The features are used to predict the target. So the target should not be part of the features. And in fact, here CreateML actually just excludes the target automatically for you. You'll notice here it doesn't even show up on our list of options because we already set it as our target value. Now one thing we don't need is the animal name, so you can actually unselect animal name because the animal name is just aardvark, antelope, perhaps more like bass or elephant, but we don't actually need that because it's not quite a feature of an animal. An animal name is not a feature. A feature of an animal is something like does it have fangs, does it have wings, does it have feet, does it have tail, a tail, okay, whereas the name is not required. It's just been put in here likely for just our convenience. Okay, so we can exclude that as part of our input features. Then we can hit select. So we've chosen 16 features, okay, for the training. You can also add testing data. This should be different from training data. So if you had more data or if you split your data up, then you would have some for training, some for testing. It's not required, but it, you can do that. This just tells you, you have the training, which builds the model, and you have the testing, which evaluates the model. But we'll evaluate the model in the next lecture together, so we don't have to do it here. Okay, and then at the bottom here, you can also choose which machine learning algorithm to use. So you have a range of options like automatic, which will just choose the best for you. You also have random forest, boosted tree, decision tree, support vector machine, and logistic regression. So you can try out all of these and see the results of these different algorithms. These are all different techniques for doing the actual classification, different mathematical algorithms. All right, so you can just choose automatic for 
this purpose. And then we have the train button in the upper left corner. So hit train and just wait a moment for the machine learning model to train. Okay, and it finished pretty quickly because we only have 10 iterations or 10 loops. If you had a lot more data or you wanted to have more training loops, then it would take longer for the training to happen. We also have an evaluation tab where we can put testing data. We'll do testing in the next lecture. We have a preview if we wanted to do a preview output via a file. And we have the output. Okay. So on this output tab, we actually want to download our trained model because we now have a CoreML model called Animal Classifier 1. And I want to download this because if we download it, we can actually use it wherever we want. We can use it in an Xcode app, like an iOS app. So you can click on this get icon and then save the model somewhere that's easy to find. Make sure you call it something easy without any spaces, like just animal classifier, because you can actually use this model just like a regular class. So you can make a new object of the model every time you want to use the model. So make sure it has a good name, a name that's easy to understand and that is specific to the actual model. Okay, then you can press save and now you actually have a trained machine learning model that you can use in your applications. Thanks for watching and don't forget to go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership where you can get access to over 350 courses that we've created.